Yo, just another brick in the wall. Just got done with the gym. Great workout today. Uh, I was just thinking about how different, obviously, it was for people with no phones in the way that, for example, like, let's take the year, like, 1890 or something, and you are someone who, like, lives in Elko, Nevada, or something, or when was that? It's probably established, probably, like, 1918 or something like that. So let's say Elko, 1918, no phones. People's realities were just so much more like authentic and had so much more character to it. I feel like everyone was such an individual because there were, you had no choice to be but anything but yourself. Like I feel like this idea of like trying to fit in probably most people like didn't even feel that pressure that much because they were never seeing social media posts and whatnot but really what I'm trying to get out of is like for me when I have my phone I'll just be going throughout my day and I'll have one thought and then I'll get distracted by my phone and I'll just kind of get sucked into my phone for like a couple minutes and then I'll just go about my day and then 10 minutes later, I'm back on my phone just looking through it. And then that cycle just repeats, repeats all day, every day. Like, I just feel like I would have so much more like originality and, you know, awareness of my own reality if I just were not constantly getting sucked into my phone. Like, I feel like I'd be able to fully feel my emotions without getting distracted. I'd find, I'd fully be able to, you know, maybe not have the sense of I'm so bored all the time or something like that, you know? Cause like, for me, I've kind of realized getting comfortable is like, laying down on my bed and like scrolling through my phone like that when I think of like oh just so comfy like cuddled up in the blankets just scrolling through my phone like that's ultimate comfort and I that's so weird because I when I'm in my phone you know like I'm not even like there really like I'm just mindlessly scrolling and like my brain is completely occupied with everything that's happening there so I'm not even having any original thoughts or anything like that so like man I feel like I just need to recondition myself to like not think that like scrolling through my phone is the comfort zone you know or if it is the comfort zone just get out of it and like change it somehow because it's such a false thing like I just literally will be looking at my phone and then I'll envision myself from the third person and I'm literally just sitting there like, like it looks like I'm on like freaking drugs or something, <laughs> you know? Like it just has me totally consumed. And like, for example, today at the gym, some kid was just walking by on his phone and literally just walked almost right into me. Like I was walking and he just walked right into me. Never once even looked up from his phone. I was just like, dude, it's so crazy that we're actually that consumed. So like, man, like people's stories were probably so much more well-developed and stuff back in the day, you know, just about their own life and what they remember. Cause they had so much more time to think about every situation, you know, like you had to go on, horseback from freaking Amarillo, Texas to God knows who where back then. 
and you just had to be in the moment no phones no nothing it doesn't matter if your horseback ride was six hours long there's no listening to a podcast or scrolling through instagram at a rest stop there's just riding your freaking horse you and that earthly ancient animal and you're just riding along the earth just you and your thoughts and nature and there's no time to do anything else but just be in your head, survive, and just have your own original thoughts about everything. And of course, you know, people will probably read books, and books are always amazing. Books are a whole nother topic, because they're just literally like, you just get transported into a whole different universe. Like, reading a book feels like doing yoga. It's like, how did I go so long without doing this? But anyways, that's a whole nother conversation. But like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I get so crazy. Like, yeah, like I said, like, you know, probably had so much more depth and memory about what happened in your life. Because nowadays it's just constantly like distraction, 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 distraction. Like even if something crazy did happen in my life, I guarantee you, no matter how happy, excited, sad, or broken down I am, 20 minutes later, I'm just going to be zoned in on my phone. Instead of, like, something amazing or terrible happens in my life, and then I go through all the emotions, happy, sad, feeling all of them, you know, tired, anxious, worried, until the situation passes, you know, but now it's just, I feel sad, so I go on my phone and watch a funny video, and now I don't feel sad anymore. It's just like, man, like I want to try going like just like a whole day, just like one day, just like without even looking at my phone. It's crazy. I don't think I could even do it, you know? Like right now, it just feels like I need it for almost everything. So, yeah, I just wonder how much that's taken a toll on like our freaking depths of people as human beings and like what it's done to our individuality I don't know doesn't seem like it's done very many good things though other than like convenience of life and like entertainment but yeah I don't know that's all I'm back at home now, so I'm going to get scattled, cooking dinner. It's like 7.30, so I got to get crack-a-lacking because I got to work tomorrow. So, peace.